everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather and today's adventure is Brussels sprouts. Yes, not Brussels sprouts as I want to call them, but Brussels sprouts. So um, when I was a kid, Brussels sprouts were one of those things that my mom would make and I absolutely hated them. Hate, hate, hated. When I saw those little cabbage balls, I wanted to gag. And I think that's because the texture was just way off. But since becoming an adult and since becoming more of an adventurer with recipes, I have redeemed Brussels sprouts and I absolutely love them. I love to make them all of the time, but mostly I like to fry them in a frying pan. Oh yeah. So I have several recipes tucked into my pocket for when I get a hankering for some Brussels sprouts. So today is one of those recipes. They taste so good, you will not have a problem eating the whole thing. And what is really nice about this recipe is it can totally be a holiday side dish because it has all of the elements that you look for when you're like, hmm, what do I bring to Thanksgiving this year with Aunt, Aunt Joy? I don't know, what, what, we always bring the same thing. Now you can bring this and people will go, wow, my mind is blown. The flavor of this is phenomenal. So are you ready for this adventure? It's so easy, it's gonna come together so quickly. The video's practically done already. Are you ready for it? Let's go. All right, what you're gonna need is two to two and a half pounds of shredded Brussels sprouts, kosher salt, a half pound of bacon, roughly chopped. You need all of the grease from that half pound of bacon. You need a small yellow onion, finely chopped. It's about a cup of onion. Three cloves of garlic, finely minced. One teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Half a cup of chopped toasted pecans one and one half tablespoons of lemon juice and some freshly ground pepper. Okay, you guys, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get your bacon ready to go. So if you haven't cooked your bacon already, go ahead and cook it in the pan and then remove the bacon, chop it up into pieces and then save the grease inside your pan. I hate doing bacon in the pan. I always do it in my air fryer now. So usually I get it in my air fryer at 400, for about eight minutes and it turns into the perfect bacon. And then I just drain off the oil to use it for later. So that's what I have here and here. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and dump our oil into our pan. And it's okay if there's some of the bacon bits in there cause hmm, it's bacon. We know how I feel about bacon. If you've been following this channel, you know, you know how I feel about bacon. Okay, now we're gonna shred our cabbage. Now, if you don't have the rapid prep mandolin here, um, you can just cut it with a knife, just rough chop it, it's no big deal. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to shred up this cabbage in no seconds flat using a rapid prep mandolin. Um, if you've been on this channel or if you know Pamper Chef, you know how amazing this tool is. And uh, I will use it every day of the week for all of the tasks that I need to use it for because it's just so easy to use and it's dishwasher safe. So enjoy me shredding. And there we have it. Our Brussels sprouts are now shredded and ready to go into our dish. I love this tool. And for those of you who have seen Rapid Prep before or have one, and you hate the mess that it makes underneath your machine, just do it on a cutting board and then sheep, there we go. All right, now that our Brussels sprouts are all shredded, let's go ahead and get our skillet going. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on medium high and we're gonna get our onion in first. So I have my onion on one of these prep mats over here and we're just gonna get it right into the pan as it starts to warm. And since it's induction, it pretty much warms right away. We're gonna save our garlic for just a little bit because we definitely don't want the garlic to burn. So we're gonna saute these for just about two minutes. And then we're gonna add in our Brussels sprouts. And don't let the bacon grease fool you into thinking that your onions are turning brown already because they're not. That's just the bacon grease and all the yummy bacon that's left in it. So definitely give it about two minutes before you add anything else. 
All right, it is time to go ahead and add in our Brussels sprouts. So let's go ahead and get that added right in. Oh, and I'm thinking about my life choices right now as to the size of skillet I decided to use. It'll be fine. They wilt a little bit. Maybe use a 12 inch skillet if you have one. Ah, uh, you know what? I think the last time I made these, I did it in my cast iron. So the cast iron is a little bit bigger than this. Ah, oh, well, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Okay, we're just gonna saute these in with those onions for about three more minutes. And you'll see them start to wilt down just a bit as they soften and start to release some of their deliciousness. All right, once some of those Brussels sprouts start to take on a little color, let's add our garlic and our red pepper flakes. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to red pepper. However, with as much red pepper as in this, as it goes around, you it does give it some heat, but it is so good, you, you won't notice. Now, if you're bringing it to Aunt Joy's house and uh, you have some wimps in the crowd, maybe half that or leave it out. Um, I've never had it without it, so I can't tell you if it will still be delicious, but I'm sure it will still be delicious. Oh, that garlic, I can, mmm, smells so good. All right, we're already almost done here. When you start to smell that garlic be all fragrant and just mouth-wateringly delicious, we are gonna add our chopped pecans or pecans, depending on where you're from. We're gonna give those a good stir. And then we are gonna add our lemon juice. And if you are thinking to yourself, oh, Heather, I don't have any lemon juice. Can I use lime? You can in a pinch. It will change the flavor just a little bit, but you definitely need that acid in these in order to bring this dish all to its like full potential. So just keep that in mind. Okay, lastly, we're gonna add all that bacon. Let's get that bacon stirred in. And now we're just going to heat this up until the bacon is warm and mix through. So probably another, what, minute and a half, two minutes? Not very long. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I can hardly stand it. Okay, my bacon is starting to look a little softer and it's starting to look warm, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Now I'm gonna get a fork and season to taste. Let's take a bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. It could use some salt. If you know you're a salt lover, you can salt this at the very beginning of the dish, but sometimes my bacon is a little too salty, and so I kick myself. And I'm like, oops, I shouldn't have salted it. Now I'm like, woo, too much. So definitely taste and then salt. We're also gonna hit, a little, hit it with a little pepper. And again, just to taste, give that a good stir. And now it's time to plate. Are we ready for this divineness? Oh man, so, so good. And it's beautiful. Oh, stinking yeah. This is one of those recipes uh, that when someone eats for the first time, they're like, what is this? You tell them it's Brussels sprouts and they'll be like, I don't like Brussels sprouts, but I like this. This is that good. All right, and let's taste and make sure that everything is beautiful before it goes onto the table, right? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The lemon juice in this dish is absolutely non-negotiable. It is so good. It gives it that little acidic hit and the chili peppers give it that little bit of spice that hits you in the back of the throat but doesn't make you go, eh, 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 this is so hot because I would be that person to be like, whoa, this is really spicy. But everything about this balances out. The flavors of the bacon, oops, mm, the Brussels sprouts, everything. Mm, it is so, so good. If you are a Brussels sprout lover, 
You have to try this. If you are not a Brussels sprout lover, you should try this. This may change your mind. And like I said, if you don't like hot peppers and you don't like any kind of spice, you could probably leave it out. But I encourage you to try it once. Just cut the peppers in half and then see what you think. If you try this, leave me a comment because you guys, this is gonna be one of those things that when you bring it to a holiday um, get together, people will be like, you bringing that next year? You br you're bringing that next year, right? It's really that good. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you got an idea for me, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of kind of preparation to the holidays the type videos, like alternatives to your normal everyday run of the mill things. Like for instance, um, hello, crack Brussels sprouts here. So I hope you'll look forward to that and I hope I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.